the men and women who serve this country as diplomats deserve no less than a full and accurate accounting wherever that leads. And I am committed to seeking that for them and for those who made the ultimate sacrifice and service to our nation. No one wants to determine what happened that night in Benghazi more than the president and I do. No one is more committed to ensuring it doesn't happen again. And nobody will hold this department more accountable than we hold ourselves. That was very nice of you to say that. Secretary Clinton, uh, I wanted to ask you about Iran. Today, uh, we are seeing some uprisings. I think the Iranian government deserves responsibility for what is going on inside Iran. Uh, and that is who should be held accountable. Uh, and I think they have made their own uh, government decisions having nothing to do with uh, the sanctions that have had a, uh, an impact on the economic uh, conditions inside the country. And of course the sanctions uh, have uh, um, had an impact as well, but those could be remedied uh, in short order if the Iranian government were willing to uh, work with the P5 plus one and the rest of the international community uh, in a sincere manner. Uh, with respect to what happened on the Turkey-Syria uh, border, uh, we are outraged that the uh, Syrians uh, have been uh, shooting uh, across the border. We are uh, very uh, regretful about the loss of life that has occurred on the Turkish side. Uh, we are uh, working with our Turkish friends. I will be speaking with the foreign minister uh, later uh, to discuss uh, what uh, the best way forward would be. But this also comes down to a regime that is causing untold suffering to its own people, uh, solely driven by their desire to stay in power uh, aided and abetted by uh, nations like Iran that are standing firmly uh, beside the Assad regime regardless of the damage, the loss of life, the violence that is happening both inside of Syria and now increasingly uh, across Syria's borders with their neighbors. It's a very, very dangerous situation and all responsible nations need to band together to uh, persuade the Assad regime uh, to uh, have a ceasefire, quit uh, assaulting their own people, uh, and begin the process of a political transition. It's been going on. So my question is about the future, about the perspectives of this partnership. Um, 